Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 6, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and my portfolio and all my trades are available in the link down below. So let's get uh, going and we'll have a look at the, the Nasdaq. And as you can see, Friday was uh, terrible for the Nasdaq. We had a fantastic day on, on Thursday, but on Friday, this just completely fell apart. However, we did not break below the lows of last week. So this is Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And if we break below uh, 12.4, then we could drop towards the uh, middle of the bullish band, which is 12.2. And after that, towards the very bottom of the bullish band, roughly 11.5. And that's also the lows uh, from from uh, mid May. So. At this current stage, it looks like we are just doing more of the same. We are rallying up towards the middle of the bullish band, towards the 50 moving average or the 200 moving average. We can see we don't hear, drop, rally, drop, 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 drop towards the 200 moving average, drop up towards the 20 simple, 20 and almost to the 50. And now it kind of looks like we are heading back south. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD, it is you know, flattening out. Um, so momentum is basically changing at this point after this really nice rally. We can see the MACD, we can see the stochastic has completely changed and is bearish at this point and the, R, the RSI as well. So momentum is changing to the downside and this is uh, basically a bear market rally that we have been witnessing here at this current stage. If we see this market take out the highs here of 12.9, then we could head towards the 50 moving average at 13.2. And after that, towards the 200 moving average. That's also where we will find these double tops here that we basically need to take out in order to go higher. If we drop below the lows here, then we're going significantly lower towards probably the 200 moving average in the, in the weekly chart. So if you look at the S&P 500, very similar here, we have been rallying up towards the 50, up towards the simple 20 moving average, uh, above the 200 moving average, test the 200 moving average, 20 simple, 20 simple, and now yet up towards the 50 moving average, and it looks like we're heading back south. So we are technically in a downtrend. We have been making lower lows and if we break below these lows here, then we'll basically go another step down and, and we'll probably head towards the highs here of, uh, this was basically in September um, in 2020 and roughly 3.5K. After that is the highs of uh, 2020 uh, before the Corona crash. And after that, this market just falls apart. So it kind of looks like we are making a downward channel and we have been testing the highs here and we can get rejected at this point. If we look at the MACD, it is a leveling off. Um, the momentum is changing and becoming bearish. The stochastic is becoming bearish and so is the RSI. If we rally above the 50 moving average, then we most likely go ahead towards the 200 moving average, but there's a lot of resistant in the path here and it's basically not been until we basically break above the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average crosses the 200 moving average it again that we'll probably see a change to a, a bull market but that is not uh, inside at this current stage so let's look at uh, dow jones so we have seen very similar movement here rally up towards the 50 20 simple moving average rally up to a 200 moving average 250 moving average the 20 simple and now yet again the 50 moving average and also uh, clearly at the top of the bollinger band so at this point if we take out the lows here of roughly uh, so lows are uh, 30.6k and then we are going to drop significantly lower macd is still bullish so stochastic is becoming bearish and the rsi is bearish as well Breaking above the 50 moving average, opposite door to the 200 and the double tops here, or you could see triple tops, but an area here that has a massive amount of resistance. So let's look at the European markets and they are running into trouble. 
and the same area where we have run into pro trouble in the past. Uh, so give or take uh, 13.5 up towards up towards 14 14.9 uh, 14 that is an area of massive resistance we also have the 200 moving average moving in this direction which also will offer quite a lot of resistance and if you look at the candlestick from friday or last week we can see that we did break down rallied on thursday and then on friday we gave most of those gains back at this current stage it looks like we're heading back towards the 50 moving average which is at 14.1 if we break below that then we have the lows here of 14.3 and then the very lows here of 12.4 european markets are probably going to rally tomorrow uh, there has been some good news that europe has uh, solved some of its oil uh, problems by shifting from russia to venezuela i don't know if that is a very good idea but uh, shifting from one dictatorship to another is probably not a very good idea but Europe is desperate at the moment uh, when it comes to energy uh, both no oil and natural gas so um, they're just taking anything they can get if you look at MACD it is still uh, bullish stochastic is turning around but still bullish at this point and the RSI is bearish at this current stage but this area here is massive resistant or has shown to be massive resistant in the past breaking above that then 200 moving average comes into play and if we break above the 200 then we'll probably see this continue significantly to the upside to the downside it is the previous lows here in uh, in the beginning of may roughly 13.3 that is going to be very interesting whether or not we drop below that so let's look at the vix so vix has if you look at this, we rallied up towards the top of the bullish band, broke towards the 200 moving average, and then rallied up towards the 20 simple, back testing the 200 moving average, then to the very top of the bullish band, and now heading towards the 200 moving average yet again. We did rally at the end of uh, uh, Friday, but gave most of those gains back. So we could see a continuation dropping towards the 200 moving average yet again but this will most likely offer quite a lot of support so after this this probably will continue rallying to the upside we are kind of building up towards uh, higher volatility and uh, 40 could be um, something that we see in the next uh, few weeks breaking below the 200 moving average then we are going significantly lower MACD is still bearish, the casting is becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the 10 year. So 10 year is kind of making this flag formation here and um, breaking above uh, 3.2, that opens the door to, well, significantly higher levels. Uh, we haven't seen these levels since uh, back in 2018 where we were at the 3.2 so so um, so that is kind of big deal if we go there we found massive support uh, down here at the 50 moving average rallied but on Friday we gave most of those gains back but if you see the in technical indicators MACD is crossing the signal line stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well so we may see a rally in the MACD in the next few weeks uh, go in the next probably two weeks and um, if we manage to break above here then that's definitely yeah, a game changer so hope you find this helpful you won't support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much